वन टू थ्री स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन आई स्टैंड टू सपोर्ट द डिमांड्स फॉर ग्रांट्स अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट देर आर नंबर ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट्स अंडर दिस मिनिस्ट्री सो इट इज नॉट easy to cover all the departments even a few known to you know very well that i always take my seat before you ring the bell which you please note today i may take a few minutes more it is difficult to select from which point i shall start i shall take some points which most probably will not be taken up by my colleagues in this house it is known that the west bengal government did not agree to start navodaya vidyalayas i know from my personal experience that if opportunity is given to a boy from the street he can develop in a wonderful way i can give you hundreds of examples from my personal experience of my long life but i will give you one example perhaps you know of a man made famine in bengal in 1943 at that time there were a large number of people who were on the streets we picked up a few boys and girls from the street and kept them in our house for some time and we opened a number of children's homes in west bengal and with reference to this i am telling you about the home of kolkata one boy was a little boy when we picked him up we thought that he was a boy of 7 or 8 years but after some time when he stayed with us after he was fed well we realized that the boy was not less than 12 years old gradually we could realize that he is not only good in education but he is wonderful singer and a good painter a few years later we took the painting of that boy to no less than a person a famous painter now i request to you sir that the west bengal government should start this scheme what they are denying the people they do not know and i do not want to go into that controversy but i request them to think over it in this connection i would like very honestly to point out that in 1942 movement they did not agree but later on they said it was a mistake so i would like to suggest that a special program should be introduced for girls in sports usually parents are not coming forward to send their girls from sports special efforts must be made so that the girls could come to the sports i would like to point out that the schemes of stadium must be helped in their subdivision and even in the villages
in this connection I would like to submit that I have tried my level best to get some money for the stadium in our subdivision but I was not successful I hope it will be successful later on as far as I know tribal dances are not included in the dance degree courses it must be introduced and tribal people are to be appointed as tribal dance teachers it is note that a person from outside should learn and come to the university or colleges tribal people should be trained and appointed as teachers development of folk dance must be looked into in this connection I would like to submit that collection of folk stories and themes are to be planned from the remote corners of our country because as you all know if those can be collected we shall have a real treasure in our country there are a number of very good schemes under department of young affairs sports and women children affairs but I am sorry to say that delay in releasing grants spoils everything I am forced to say that delay in release of grants gives scope of false accounts and even the situation makes for a few organizations not to use money properly if money is not released for months how the teachers are to be paid how children are to be fed how medical care can be given and where is the money for medicine the policy of our government is to help voluntary organizations but I am sorry to say that sometimes many voluntary organizations do not get proper treatment after the applications from voluntary organizations are sent they are kept pending for a long time my request is this if the government cannot give grants let them say that for certain reasons they are not able to give them the grants do not keep them pending and keep hanging then money is not released in time of course I must say that I am the last person to suggest that the government should assist voluntary organization without proper inquiry I further suggest that some organizations which get money from various foreign organizations government should keep proper vigilance so that the money is spent properly